Okay, it is time to go through these last 11 rolls that I have from the coin shop that I got in that big pickup um, several months ago. So I'm gonna go through these. Um, and fortunately, I went to my coin shop recently, was able to get some more pennies. They had some more pennies and they had some nickel tubes. Tubes and nickels, some of these are uh, dated, some of these are mixed, uh, uncirculated and circulated. So that's gonna be interesting to go through. Um, so I do have some more pennies to add, but this is the last 11 rolls I have from that large pickup. So let's push these to the side and we're gonna get into two of these. We're gonna do three at a time. Oh, but first I wanna do something special. Two things before we get into these rolls. Um, my 2K giveaway, I had two rolls of these pennies that were not claimed. So I'm gonna give them away in this hunt, um, in this video. So stick around for your chance to enter to win these. Um, since these are the last 11 from the original big box that I have, um, we'll go ahead and give these away now. I've uh, been waiting for this video to give these away since they weren't claimed. Um, so stick around for that. I'll let you know how to get into that here later in the video. And then on for for members, I have a special stream that I'm going to try to do on um, looking at May 26th, Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to go, I'm going to go do a special live hunt of a very special box of pennies um, that I got. It's going to be fun to go through. And I've been waiting to go through it, and it's been very, very hard not to go through it. And uh, Shannon, I know you know what kind of box of pennies this is, so it's going to be fun to go through. Um, and that is a members only live. Uh, and not that I'm asking anyone to join up, but if you want to be there live, we'll, we'll do some giveaways and some other things to the people who are there. It's 99 cents for membership, and then um, it's this is the members only video for the month and I'm just going to do it as a live stream. I'm going to try to do it as a live stream unless things get in the way, but that's going to be a fun event. I'm probably going to shoot for about an hour. Um, and then eventually, um, anyone who is not a member that will, uh, be released at some point to, uh, everyone. So you can see what's going on there. Um, and again, please don't feel like you have to join to enjoy the videos. It's just uh, this one is going to be alive, and I might try to do that here and there as I can with my schedule um, for the members. All right, all that being said, let's get into these rolls. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Cue coins. Pick them up. I'm not rich. Okay, so just like in the other hunts, I'm going to crack into these and we will see what's in here. I'll tump them out and then I'll probably sort through them off camera. That'll take a little while. Um, that's kind of why I want to do a, a live as well so you could uh, go through and with me while I sort through coins. It might be a little boring at times as I'm looking at coins, but uh, hopefully you find it fun and I can share some information and see how I sort through coins. Ooh, that one has a little dunk on the reverse there. Okay, so pour this one out. Let's look. It looks like, you know, one of those average rolls that we get. Let's see, is that a, nope, that's a 59. That is not a wheat set. Just giving a quick look for anything that stands out. There's a 1963D. It's circulated. There's a pretty nice 2009. I'll put that up there. I've been holding on to those. There's a 95. 1995 can have double die obverse there. This one, I don't see it in the camera here. It would be on the dates, the Liberty and the In God We Trust. Um, both Philly and Denver. Um, the Philly side, I believe, is more doubled on the Liberty and up in In God We Trust. And the Denver is more doubled in the Date and In God We Trust. So, there's some information there. Um, so, let's discuss some of the stuff I look for. Um, here is a 1959. It might have been in a roll at one point. 
point at uncirculated roll, 1960-59. Okay, well, I don't see any wheats or anything sticking out on those rolls. There's a 1961 out of Denver. This one can have a, there's a bunch of different repunch mint marks, but the one to you want to find is there is a horizontal repunch mint mark that you can find on those. All right, so let me get these pushed out of the layout. It's a pretty nice 1970S right there. It's got a spot on the surface, some dark spots there. That is a 1970S. I'll be checking that one for its uh, the small date 1970s as well as the repunch mint mark um, that one can have some repunch mint mark and then it's off the camera I see and then there is actually some doubling you can find up in in God we trust on the 1970s so some cool stuff there it looks like there's another 95 sticking out um, nothing super fancy sticking out in that rolls though oh there's some nice coins Ooh, this one is a tore up penny in 2000 oof that one is destroyed and someone decided to rub that on the road and then throw it down a cliff or something i don't know <laughs> all right let's take a look at this one being coin shop uh Rolls I picked up from the coin shop. Uh, it's not, that one is a circulated. Uh, it might've been in a dryer. This one might be a, a, a dryer coin. Got stuck in a dryer, rolled around. The rims are a little bit worn and the surfaces get a little bit where they look like they've been heated and rubbed a lot. Um, the rim kind of gets kind of a, a roundish uh, rounding to it and kind of spreads out a little bit. Um, so that is a dryer coin there, uh, most likely. Um, let's see. Going back to what I was talking about, these are from the coin shop. So they've, uh, they get collections in penny dumps, they get rolls, as you saw, they had tubes of nickels, of modern date nickels that are um, kind of uncirculated. There's a decent 1963 out of Denver, not bad. Um, and since they're modern date stuff, they don't hold a whole lot of value, even in uncirculated, because, um, you know, the 64, there was over, um, 1.2 billion nickels made so unless they're in super pristine high high grade condition they uh don't have any uh real value over face value um if you are looking for a nice uh nickel for an album you can probably get one online through ebay or something for a couple bucks from somebody that's gone through and set them up but because the coin shops um get so many in they can't sell them all they they have a trouble of going through all the coins they don't have time to go through all the coins and so a lot of the newer date stuff um jefferson nichols lincoln sense memorials um non-silver dimes quarters halves um, any of the new dollar coins um, are all uh, stuff that is considered bulk, and if they don't have time to go through it, they'll either use it as change in a change drawer or um, send them to the bank if they have too much of them. And thankfully, they've allowed me to pick up some of these rolls <laughs> here and there. So that is awesome because they are, a lot of them are from collections or stuff. There's some nice stuff in here. And just dumping out this third roll, it looks like they missed a wheat scent. We found some wheat scents in here. Uh, and like I said, they don't have time to go through every single last coin. Uh, when you get large collections, it's like, here's a jar full of pennies. Okay, let's just, um, if we see a wheat scent, we'll set it aside. Otherwise, we're just got to roll up the rest. Put them in rolls and send them to the bank or... Um, 
And if anyone comes in and wants them, as much as 72. So we'll be checking those for RPMs there. Let's see. 70s. 70s. This looks like a... There's a 60. There might be 70s and 60s in this roll. There's an 88. 88 has a reverse of 89 was used. So it's called a flared G. So the... um. On the back of the 88s. If you look at the designer initials here, um, if it has a bit more of a flare, it's hard to describe. It's, um, if you s compare it to um, the reverse of the 89, the FG there, you can definitely tell a difference. Um, so if I'm checking these, uh, and I usually check for that, um, I will pull up, either pull up a picture or I'll grab, uh, if I come across a nice 1989, I'll compare it to that because it should match the 1989 because it was the 1989 reverse that was used instead of the 88. It was a transitional year, so it, there was a design change. That's why they hold some value. I believe the Denver's, is it? One of the two dates is much rarer than the other and worth um, more money. Otherwise, let's see. I'm not seeing anything substantial sticking out. That's a decent 86. I don't know if that's good enough to make my album there. But yeah, okay. No, we did come up with one wheat set. Was it a 1945 in those three rolls? Some nice coins in here. Nothing, um, nothing crazy awesome. Some good, cool things to look for, to look through, coins to check out for... Um, any varieties and stuff and we shall see what's in here hopefully we get some cool stuff um, if we come across anything awesome while I'm starting sorting through these I will pop back in and let you know otherwise we'll just do a wrap up at the end there all right we'll be right back and we'll let you know if we found anything cool in these all right working my way through these three rolls this 1970 I picked up earlier this one is a small date 1970 very cool that is the rare date size to find there so that is pretty cool to get a hold of nice um and all the rolls that i've been going through in that big uh bunch i think i've found that might be the third one i found um i've never found them anywhere else so finding some is just awesome especially in such nice shape very cool, very cool find. Awesome, awesome to get a hold of. Okay, so those rolls, the only one find was the small date 1970S, which is an awesome find for sure. All right, so let's get into three more rolls and see what we got here and see if we can find some other cool story, cool, uh, cool stuff. I do have some nicer ones up here that I'm going to check against the album. Um, and I might just put, toss them in a tube to keep. I've got several tubes of coins that I have held on to that are in really nice shape <laughs> from these, uh, penny rolls here. So, a few more won't hurt, will it? <laughs> Ooh, we got a gold-plated one, it looks like, right there. It's catching my eye. We have a gold-plated 1999. All right, we're going to look on the back. It looks like it's normal. You can find a wide AM there on these. And there's a couple other things you can look for as well. Um, but that is a pretty cool find there. Um, now, because this is plated, um, it's a fun little collector piece and fun to hold on to. And I pulled on to them. But uh, the surface has been altered, so it would be considered an altered surface or damaged surface, according to grading companies and uh, collectors. So that's when you plate the coins, um, you are destroying their numismatic value, but uh, you might be adding a collector specialty to it, but you know, it doesn't always, it's not a one for one trade. Uh, it's a pretty nice 1970 out of Denver. All right, let's look at the rest of these here. 
1972 um, SS, 1960 out of Denver, there's a pretty worn 66, a lot of these are brown, got some nice 70s though, stuck in here is a decent 64, just setting those aside a little bit here. And this one looks like um, it had some kind of acid, uh, acidic on it, uh, like a vinegar or a vinegar-based uh, substance like ketchup. Turns the surface kind of um, orangey, well, orangey-yellow, not the straight copper color. Gives it, let's, let's take, take a look. it gives it that yellowish look to it because it eats away at the surfaces, especially if you leave it in there for a long time. Um, all right, there's a 1969 out of San Francisco. Does not look doubled, but we definitely double check that. Um, most likely not. There's a 1967 with some interesting tone on it. This one was probably in an album or something for a while there. Um, it is a brown set, otherwise, Let's see. All right. Well, nothing else really standing out except for those nice scents. And then we got that one gold plated scent right there. Kind of off camera at the moment. Um, but still some things to go through. Check for some varieties and airs and what have you. This is a 2009 out of Denver on the end of this one. I don't know if it's quite showing up. There we go. Wasn't quite focusing. Okay, let's see. 1963, got some circulation on it. Still reddish, but not, uh, not, I got some surface issues with it. All right, let's take a quick look through here. That one has an older look, 71, 96, 2000. There's uh, stuff to look for on those, and they're kind of nice here, so I'll set them to the side. 2010, I'll toss that up there, that might be an upgrader for the album. I find the 2010s have been uh, in nice shape, has been a bit of a challenge, surprisingly. Let's see, 25 out of Denver, I'll check for double dies. 95, 2004 there, and then uh, another 2004, there's a 2009, this is the Denver on the end, it has that, it has a really deep orangey color to it, it might have gotten some, something on it that has caused it to get a little bit of extra orange on it than normal. Nothing really standing out in those other than a few nice coins here and there to check. So let me just kind of edge those out of the way. And let's crack open the next roll. Alright, looks like another heavy brown scent roll. See out of Denver. There's plenty of things to check for on those. Found an awesome one last time. 1960 out of Denver. Am I, am I on the camera? It doesn't quite look like it. All right. Let's see. 1975. That's a pretty decent 75. I'll put it up there in a stack to look at. Check against the album. Possibly keep. Um, I don't think there's anything going on. Here's another 1969S. Take a look. I don't see the doubling, but it will be double checked, definitely. Um, especially in nice shape like that. Ooh, if I were to find one of those in these rolls, holy cow, that would be amazing. I mean, a brown 19, 
1969 S in this condition right here. Um, I think one of those sold for like 35 or 36,000 a year or two ago. So whew, that would be an awesome find. Well, nothing is really standing out in these. I didn't see anything uh, uh, really cool outside of some um, nice coins to check. Uh, we did so far. We do have the one gold plated penny. I'm going to toss it up here. And let's keep going to see what else we see in here. Okay, for those three rolls, we had the uh, one 2000, no one 1999 gold plated coin here. Um, and then we had a 1960 out of Denver. This is the repunchment mark D over D. It's the RPM number one or FS502 here in the Cherry Picker Sky. So I've come across uh, quite a few of these in these rolls, and that's a fun find. It, uh, coin's a little bit uh, not in the greatest shape, but you know, it is what it is. All right, let's get going through three more rolls here. See what else we see. All right. Let's see what we got going on in this roll. I'm trying to be gentle and not tear these uh, nicer uh, uh, coin rolls here, the ones with the foil lining. Those are pretty cool, and I'm going to keep those in my collection. All right, this one appears to be a full roll of 1968 San Francisco's. And that's what all these look like. Um, outside of checking the mint mark for um, possible repunching, I don't think there's anything else going on with the 1968S. Could be wrong. Um, I will have to double check that, but yep, all 1968s is what it looks like. Yep. Okay. So that's going to be easy roll. And this is this might have been a uh, original bank wrap roll that somebody had for a long time. And got kind of uh, probably sitting out in the garage. Got kind of. Uh, Gunky and the humidity and stuff got to the coins there. And so, you know, turned it into the coin shop. And what's coin shop going to do with a bunch of uh, gunky looking 1968 uh, S coins? They're going to send them to the bank because, you know, unless they're pristine and can be graded, they don't hold a lot of value that date. All right, next roll. Looks like we got some dirty edges on some of these coins in here. Oh, all these coins look like they're a bit corroded on the some of the edges here. Another roll that might have sat in the garage. 91, 69. Oh, we do have a wheat scent, though. And here, uh, 1945 out of Denver. Cool. It's our second wheat scent in a second. I think the other one, oh, there's another wheat scent. 1953. Okay, what else do we have here? 68, 77, 81. It's more corroded edge pennies. I'll set those over here. Um, 72. 79, we'll check the 72, there's an 84, we'll check for a double ear, 69, some 91s, 80, 84, got some corrosion on the edge of that one, um, yeah, let's see, there's a 1975, it's not another 50s, nope, that's a 60 out of Denver, 86, 68, and 88, we'll check the reverse to that one, 86, 80, 
25. And how I would normally would hunt these, I would just tump them out and go through them, but since I'm, let me get some stuck together here. Since I'm going through them on camera, I figured I would flip through, and you know, when I tump them out, I'm gonna flip through them a little bit here. Let's see if I can get these to come apart. Ooh, this one is bad stuck. These are some gunky. Stuck to me, so there we go. 77, 75, and a 88. All really stuck together. Ugh, that was not a fun roll. Um, did have two wheats in it, so that is fun there. Good to see. Um, but otherwise, the rest was uh, just... A, some gunky pennies, you know. Alright, let's check this third roll out. Lots of brown. Lots of brown cents. Let's see, 61, 62, 60, 73, 72, 63, 64, 63, 66. Looks like mostly 60s, some 70s. It might be just a bunch of brown scent someone saved for some reason. Um, might have been just uh, someone saving a bunch of copper coins because, you know, that is a thing to do. Uh, I mean, back in the 60s, if you held on to your silver coins and, you know, that was... 60 years ago, 60 years ago, because 1964 was the final day of silver um, circulating coins for the halves, or for the 90% silver, I should say. The 40% halves were circulating for another few years after that. But the 90% was ended in uh, 1964, was the last date, so 60 years ago. Um, those have gone up in price, but, you know, took a while to get up to a decent price. Um, all right, yeah, I'm not seeing anything substantial sticking out in that last roll there. Just a bunch of 60s and 70s, it looks like. So, yeah, let me get through these, see what's going on, and then we have two more rolls left. I've already got some pretty cool, awesome finds, so hopefully we, we can add a few more to that. But if not, you know, it's always fun to look through some coins, see what you can find. You never know what you're going to come across. Well, um, outside of the, did we get two, two wheat cents in one of those rolls? I think we got two wheat cents in one of those rolls. Outside of the two wheat cents we got in one of those rolls, no other finds. Two rolls left in this hunt, and these are the last two rolls from the original group of coins and i'll go over the stats on that here in a minute um but i had over 260 rolls of pennies to go through um i did give some of those away to some other content creators and and as a giveaways and there is two left well i guess this is the two left that i'm gonna open there's two left for a giveaway and uh and what we're gonna do for this, 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 let's talk about that giveaway real quick. The giveaway, I've got two here. Um, these, like you've seen in the video, is gonna be two of these foil wrap rolls. So you're getting the cool foil wrappers um, and you're gonna get two uh, rolls. They could have some really awesome coins in it. Could just be circulated coins. I have no idea, I haven't opened them. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give these away and to enter to win, I want you to hit the like button, make sure you're subscribed, and then in the comment section, I want you to put down, you do, let's say in your comment, you can say whatever you want in your comment, but somewhere in your comment and say, that's how I roll, because these are rolls of pennies, so that's how I roll, or that's how we roll, I'll accept that. Um, <laughs> a fun little comment so just uh just to see who who's uh, actually watching for the um keyword i don't don't usually use keywords but 
this time I will. And uh, again, these were unclaimed prizes from my 2K giveaway. Um, so that's what we're, we're giving away now. All right, so make sure you enter to win. Let's see, hit that like button, make sure you're subscribed, and then in your comments say, that's how I roll. And then we'll do about a week or so. Okay, 24th, Friday the 24th, I will pick winners for these rolls from this video. Awesome. So cool, cool. So let's set those out of the way and let's get into these two rolls. All right, these are the last two rolls from the original pile absolute pile that I got the first um the first time I picked up coins from the bank or from the coin shop these are coin shop rolls um and again I have I'll go over the stats here when we do the final breakdown of all these rolls and what I have you um so let's take a look here Let's see, do we see anything really cool and interesting in there? Some circulated coins. Some are redder, some are browner. Um, and there's a nice 59. And this is what I expect will be in those two rolls that you uh, get. There's a 99, 94, 93, 92. There's some stuff to check for on those. Some doubling um, 1 a.m., close a.m., um, some other varieties. Let's see, nonsense look like they are. It's 94. I thought that said uh, earlier date. I'm not seeing any wheats. Oh, there is one. There is one. 1955 out of Denver. Looks like it has a tiny little die chip in the nine there. If I remember to take a picture of it, I'll put it right here. But Right there in the 9 out of 8. It looks like there's a tiny little die chip. Um, the die chips that you find in these um, beat sense in the date and in the Liberty, especially in the 50s, were more common than other dates. You can find um, those die chips on just about any Lincoln cent date, but um, the 50s were a bit more common on some of the dates, especially, was it 56, 7? 56 and 7 are very, very common. Okay. Some nice coins in there. And um, some things to check for. Let's check out this final roll. This is the last roll from the original group. That big old huge box. Now, if you haven't seen any of those episodes, I have, there are some pretty awesome finds in some of those episodes. Um, and there's a whole playlist, and there's a link to the playlist in this video. So feel free to link and check that out. Um, and these coin rolls from the coin shop is easily become one of my favorite things to hunt through because just the stuff that they don't, you know, when you're doing bulk, you don't have time to search through the coins. If you're you're busy, you're working, you're trying to get through as many coins as you can, and people are coming in, then the coin shop is always always busy every time I go in there um so just for the volume they can't sit there and look at every single coin that comes through and if it's a more of a modern standard date coin um it gets put in the bulk section and don't get me wrong they have huge bins full of nice coins I mean huge bins full of nice coins but then you can't keep them all so this has been very fun and awesome to pick up. And then I've got uh, some more I just picked up within the past week or two, as you saw at the beginning of the video. So I've got another 20 pennies and some really fun dime uh, nickels that look like there's going to be fun to go through. Okay, well, nothing standing out in that roll. Um, there are some more things to check for. 2004 has a double die reverse and there's a bunch of minor double dies in and around Lincoln as well to check for there's 72 here and that has several major and minor double dies on the obverse so there is plenty of fun things to check for here so we will get going through these see what we got um so far we're one week in these last two rolls and yeah hopefully fingers crossed I can bring you back and show you one more really cool find in these but if not we've already had some awesome finds in this hunt so you know 
can't beat some of these fights and you know can't you know <laughs> all right so time to wrap up there were no real fines in those last two rolls um i do have some pennies up here which uh will check against my uh, personal album and if i have upgrades i'll put that at the end of the video after the um outro there um so for the fines for this hunt four wheat cents 240s 250s a 1960 denver with a RPM number one or FS 502 in the Cherry Picker Sky. So that's pretty cool find. Best find of the hunt is this 1970 S small date in really nice shape. Very cool, awesome find. And then we had one gold plated 1999. You got a gold plate like it's 1999, huh? So yeah, there's some cool stuff there. Um, and so overall for the a big box of pennies that I finally finished going through and I've had for a few months. This is the last bit of those pennies. Um, I will be continuing on with the coin roll hunts from the coin shop as long as I can get them. And I do have another stack of pennies to add to this. But let's see, from that big box, I had approximately, um, I might have miscounted a couple in there, but I was keeping track. Uh, 270 rolls of pennies I got from the coin shop um, that time several months ago that I've been working through. 270 rolls, that's 13,500 Lincoln cents. So that's roughly um, $67 face value. So, so that's like three, a little over three boxes of pennies. Um, so that was a lot of pennies to go through and search through and find some really awesome stuff in. Very cool. And of those rolls, I would I would venture to guess half, somewhere between half and two-thirds of the Lincoln cents that I looked at were 1960s. Um, and most of the 1960s were from Denver. So that's why I ended up with, a, I've got about a tube here. 1960 out of Denver's with uh, different repunchment marks in various different states of um, condition. Um, this one is one more added to that. Um, and there is probably have a full roll. I do have a few others that aren't in that tube. Um, so yeah, so roughly a box and a half of 1960 out of Denver, roughly on, on a rough estimate to find a bunch of different, um, my, a lot of these are, these are all the minor, minor ones. I think I the ones like this one, the FS502. I had one last hunt of the large date over small date. First time I ever found one, awesome find, really cool. One of those, these uh, ones here with the FS502, with the D over DF, probably got roughly five of those. Um, I think I ended up with three 1970s small dates um, out of the whole hunt. Uh, maybe four. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I had a couple of, a few plated 19, a uh, few, a few plated Lincoln cents. Um, I've got them in here. A few plated, some, some counter stamped and stuff. Um, these are some of the other plated coins and other things I got from the coin shop as well. And a lot of really nice uh, Lincoln scents to add to my collection and upgrade the album. So lots of really cool finds. Um, this is just the first stop, the first end of the first major stack of coins I got from the coin shop. So of pennies. And so that has been really cool. A really fun hunt. I don't know what the next 20 or so rolls I got here is going to hold but we'll find out we'll keep hunting and searching these coin shop rolls as long as i can get them all right well thank you for listening to my long rant there make sure you get in to win the giveaway there and and such and we will have the giveaway winner picked on the 24th and then on the 26th for i'm going to try to do a members only stream as long as everything works out we'll be doing that at 9 p.m eastern so stay tuned for that Members, and uh, please feel, 
don't feel again don't feel like you have to join um it's just something i can do to say thank you for those who are going above and beyond the free stuff like liking subscribing and sharing commenting and watching the videos um so yeah all right well i do hope you enjoyed the video and have enjoyed this series a lot of people seem to do and if you have have missed any of those please go check out the playlist a lot of cool stuff in there um all right well thank you very much for watching everyone have a great day and i want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel i very very much appreciate it if anyone is interested in becoming a member feel free to check out the link below again thank you very much for your support